Kanye West has been described as one of the best music artists of all time, but he's also been described as one of the most insane human beings to ever live. I mean, he was once quoted as saying, when I think of competition, it's like I try to create against the past. I think about Michelangelo and Picasso, you know, the pyramids. Welcome back to The Soul Scoop. In case you guys don't know, this is my news series where I break down news stories, interesting stories. Today, we're gonna be talking about Kanye. We're gonna talk about Kanye and the crazy relationship that is his partnership with Adidas now and how a partnership that brings in $2 billion a year and represents 10% of Adidas total revenue each year is not worth it anymore. So in my opinion, things really got heavy on this year on Yeezy Day. Um, Yeezy Day, in case you guys don't know what it is, Yeezy Day is a day that all sneaker resellers really look forward to. Okay, we see some of our favorite Yeezys restock. It's a huge all day event and we bought Yeezy supply all day long, make tons and tons of money. But this year, Yeezy Day went a little bit different than that. Kanye West alleges Adidas rolled out Yeezy Day without my approval. Now, Yeezy Day this year was an absolute disaster. And luckily, we have some articles that really goes into what happened on Yeezy Day. So we're going to take a look at some of those uh, right now. Basically, Kanye sent out mass media messages to anyone who would listen on August 2nd of this year, where he said a bunch of stuff about Adidas. And one of the biggest things that he said is they made Yeezy Day without his approval. So basically he sent this super long message and the moral of the story is that each year when Yeezy Day rolls around, Kanye and Adidas talk about what shoes are gonna restock, what colorways are gonna release, and he is he's involved in everything that happens on Yeezy Day. This year he was not. He said Adidas made up the Yeezy Day idea without my approval, then went and brought back older styles without my approval. I'm assuming he's referring to styles like the Turtle Dove that restocked that he did not approve at all. He sent this big, big, long message to anyone who would who would listen, but it's also down here, and they even stress in the article that he claimed that uh, you know he didn't approve colorways, he didn't approve models that released, and his team was not involved in the project at all. Right here, Adidas picked colors and named them without my approval and hired people that worked for me without my approval. This is going into new releases too. So essentially, they released new colorways without him knowing and they hired people to name those colors instead of Kanye being involved naming the colors, which you would expect would happen, right? Because it is his shoe. But apparently, it didn't. They went out in left field and and just didn't. He, he went on further um, to say some of this right here. Adidas stole my colorways without my approval. They stole my styles. They stole my materials. And, and basically, they went and hired a GM of Yeezy without his approval either. And, and basically, Adidas was stealing a lot of his stuff. Um, and he was, he was not getting any, any say at all. Um, so again, he, he stressed the idea that he did not have any say in what was happening in terms of Yeezy Day or, or new colorways that were being released or anything like that. And it really hits home when he said, they stole my colorways without my approval, they stole my styles, and they stole my materials. Now that's a very interesting point, that he says they stole my style. What does he mean by that? Well, why don't we take a look at the Adidas Yeezy Slide and Adilet 22 that released. So... Uh, these, these look a little bit similar, don't they? Um, unfortunately for Kanye, it seems like Adidas stole his design for his Yeezy slide and they started making their own. Now, what makes this even worse is when Kanye wanted to ramp up production on the Yeezy slide, they told him that they didn't have the capacity to ramp up production. And meanwhile, they were copying his design and making their very own version of the Yeezy slide, which is just, I mean, can we just agree? That's just a scummy thing to do, right? Um, but it seems like Kanye was so out of the loop on all of the production that was going on when he wanted more Yeezy slides made because we know Kanye's goal was to get Yeezys into everyone's hand. I saw an article where he talked about he wanted Yeezy school uniforms. That's how far he wanted this to go with people wearing the Yeezy brand. So when he wanted to ramp up production, they told him they didn't have the capacity. 
but the entire time they were they were making their own version of the Adidas Yeezy slide behind his back, which led us to the announcement that happened about two weeks ago, um, where Adidas, they said that they're reconsidering the current makeup of the Yeezy partnership. Essentially, what they did is they placed the Yeezy partnership under review. Uh, basically, they said right here, after repeated efforts to privately resolve the situation, we have taken the decision to place the partnership under review. Uh, basically, what that means is they're they're threatening to end the partnership, um, and they're basically saying that, uh, hey, this is getting kind of messed up. We don't know if this is a great partnership for us anymore, which if they just wanted to end it, that would be great because that's what Kanye wants, right? He wants out of this. But, uh, you know, they even took a little dig at him down here and they said that these partnerships um, are, are rooted in mutual respect and shared values. And apparently they no longer have that. So uh, this is no longer a successful partnership. So basically, uh, Kanye, you know, he, he responded with his own thing uh, there. And then he has he has been going a little insane lately, right? I think we can all agree with that. We've seen his tweets. I am not going to pull those up at all because they are absolutely insane. Um, he he was seen wearing a White Lives Matter shirt at his fashion event in Paris. I'm also not going to touch that, but it pretty pretty crazy, right? I also saw him put out hats that said 2024. That does this mean he's running again? I don't I don't know what's happening, but essentially. Kanye has gone a little off the rails lately, which has led to another development in this whole thing. JP Morgan has cut ties with Kanye West and Yeezy. Um, in case you guys don't know what this means and why this is so significant, the Yeezy brand Yeezy Inc. uses Chase as their primary bank. And um, JP Morgan Chase has um, told Kanye that you got to find somewhere else to do your banking by November 21st because we no longer want to be associated with you and your brand uh, due to all of his questionable behavior, his Twitter rants lately, um, and he has just been uh, going crazy. Um, he signed a 10-year deal with Yeezy Gap uh, to make the whole thing, and it's, um, it's not looking good for that either because um, this is currently the Yeezy Gap website. And in case you guys don't know, the Yeezy Gap collaboration was being sold uh, multiple places. And it has been taken down everywhere except YeezyGap.com. And even worse than that, if you guys sign up for their newsletter, you'll receive a uh, discount code for 20% off of all products. When was the last time you heard about Yeezy products being offered at a discount? Never. So it looks like Gap is ready to just get rid of all of this inventory and move on from what was a promising collaboration to now being a absolute dumpster fire. And they just want to get out of this and move on to the next thing. So what does this mean? What does this all mean for the future of the brand Yeezy? I'm not even touching on Adidas Yeezy, just the Yeezy brand. What does it mean? Well, Yeezy is still going to have some releases this year, obviously, through Adidas. Um, they already have some slated and some coming up this week, in fact, that they're still releasing. It would be my guess that Kanye is not involved in this at all, and he is trying to fight them every step of the way when they do these releases, but they're coming out regardless. In the future, Kanye has said that he hopes to open Yeezy stores, right? Where he can release all of his Yeezy products on a storefront. I'm not sure what that means for online releases, but he would love to have Yeezy stores where I am assuming that he would love to keep them stocked 24-7 and effectively kill the resale value of all Yeezy brand products. Because if they're just available in store 24-7, like he wants them to be, they will no longer be able to be resellable. They will have zero value. So what this means is we are finally seeing the decline of one of the last things keeping sneaker botters alive, that being Yeezy Supply. It will not be too much longer before we have our final Yeezy Supply release. I don't know when that day is, but I know it is coming very, very soon. And it's sad, it's unfortunate, 
that this collaboration is going to be coming to an end, but after the war of words, just going back and forth between both sides, I see no path back to reconciliation, and I think it's just best for everyone if they walk their separate ways and do their own thing after this. The Yeezy Adidas collaboration will be remembered as probably the most successful collaboration of all time. It has certainly generated the most revenue of all time, and Kanye really revolutionized the sneaker game alongside Adidas. They will always have that legacy together, but it seems like in the coming months, they will no longer have a relationship, and they both wish to part ways with one another. So, this is going to be closing a historic chapter in sneaker reselling and in fashion culture in general, and it's very unfortunate to see, but this is the only path now, and we will see what comes after it. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Videos like these take a while to do with research and editing and everything like that, so please, please, please subscribe to the channel like the video, follow me on all of my socials linked down below. If you guys need any reselling help at all, be sure to check out Juiced. Even though Yeezy supply may be going away, Juiced is not going away, and we will show you guys how to make money reselling. We are literally involved with every facet you can imagine, and our members are cooking out every single day on a variety of products and in a variety of industries. So if you guys want the secret to make some extra money, if you want to take reselling more serious and step your game up, be sure to check out Juiced, linked down in the description. I hope that you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. A great start to your week. This is Soul State from Juiced, signing out.